Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Puff Drink Talk podcast. Another week, and we're all here today. Conrad Schubach, as always. Dylan Wilson. I'm Hilton Gill. And Josh Abaij. There we are. Uh, full house today. Yeah. Uh, last week, back. Hilton and Dylan were yeah. out. Uh, do you want to do you want to talk about your your Democratic Democrat voting? I mean, sorry, COVID. <laughs> yeah, I got that bullshit Wuhan bat flu. <laughs> I'm better now though. Chinese virus. Don't feel bad for me. I told I told you <laughs> not to eat bat meat. You know me, man. And I said bad meat, and then you understood bat meat. Uh, that's yeah. what happened. Mm. So you went under Congress, the bridge under Congress, grabbed a bat. Yeah. Who hasn't here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who hasn't been there? Welcome to Austin. It's what you do. <laughs> times are tough. Twenty dollars for a meatball exactly. downtown or a free bat? That's my my bucket list, man. <laughs> <laughs> free bat all day long. All day long. Oh, delicious. I mean, is is mm. bat considered mm. a bird? Yeah. No. No. Is it not? That's a marsupial, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, marsupial. Okay. Bat break you. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why there is no <laughs> bat logo in football. Why is that? Because it's either letters, stars, or birds. Oh, they're, they're animals. Mammals. Mammals. Bears. Yeah, there's there's bears, the lions, bears, tigers, tigers, tigers and lions. Yeah, and people. Okay. You got Vikings and yeah. Indians. Cleveland Indians. Indians in, can I say Indians? Yeah. You can. Can, can I still say that? You won't that? get canceled. Not Specify yet. Specify which ones you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they're too late. Right? I'm past that. I will, be can- I, 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 will, I will be canceled. Three days later, they will forget about me. <laughs> and then I can go back yeah. there. No, that's and then so I true. can just say, hey, I'm a new guy. <laughs> I'm a new guy. Come and in I with the blue me. on instead of the red. He's changed the I name. Clark Kent, yeah. Superman, so different. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, How I, come I, nobody I recognizes George anymore? <laughs> new George. Yeah, do we have a subject for today? Yeah, we have quite a few subjects. But I wanted to first talk about how was your trip to Vegas? Because okay. we talked about Dylan, unfortunately, <clears> and, and all of this COVID. But he's, and you're making a, a better recovery. You're... You're feeling a lot better. Yeah, it's actually my third time having COVID, and it was the worst of them all, symptom-wise. Really? Yeah, but recovery-wise, turned around pretty quickly in the past. The past three days, every day, just been getting better and better and better. Oh, nice. But How many days? Like eight. Eight days. Yeah. She. Yep. And now my fiance has it, so she's down bad. But she might go back to work uh, Thursday, maybe. She was two days behind me. So. Gotcha. Ah, poor thing. I hope she has a speedy recovery as well. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Yeah. I think he was worse than what she mm-hmm. is, right? Any side effects? Every time. In the ear or anything? Um, I have a phobia of big walls and Trump, but that's it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. <laughs> She spiked her and, uh, and he became very sarcastic. Yeah, <laughs> more so. <laughs> Did anyone think that was possible? <laughs> what, is, what is good is that now I have jurisprudence. Yeah, yeah. I now have the, I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. There you go. <laughs> we broke that barrier now for George. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. <laughs> you like you 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 think like oh George is so nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. The door's open, man. Yeah. Just walk we haven't seen hey, that man. side yet. <laughs> Nasty. It's gonna be nasty, George. <laughs> <laughs> nasty, James. Interpreted a few ways. <laughs> Put that back in that closet, George. I don't want no way to change. The Pandora box <laughs> is open. <laughs> you're so. That flat. sounds like an evil character from a video you're game so or flat. something like that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> nasty, out. George. So I have my life. I have my. Whips and chains. Are yeah. Right. So. Yeah, right. I don't want no whips and chains. My alias. Your alias? What is yeah, it? My, uh, the alias is Nasty George. Nasty, Nasty George. Nasty, Nasty, Nasty George. Nasty, Nasty J. J. That's that rap. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. That could be just misinterpreted, right? Yeah. That nasty one. You're one of them Nasty J's? Yeah. Oh, my oh God. God. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. I know. You gotta be What'd careful. you catch? I caught, I caught the Nasty J. <laughs> <laughs> 
crawling around in fucking tunnels <laughs> under my apartment. <laughs> All those fucking nasty well, I've been hearing a, things from the long ago. It's goddamn nasty. What about the lyrics, you know? You know, see that song of this. Huh? Keep on opening it. The box is now. <laughs> I know. I know. The the so warm. warm. Let the Let warm the come out. Let the warm. <laughs> Yeah, right. and I'm back in full force. I'm back and I'm better. Good. Isn't that good? Isn't yeah. that great? Yes. Good. So, COVID did you wonders, I guess. I'm liberated. Yeah. Well, oh, I, what happened he is liberate he missed something. Vegas. <laughs> because he I wouldn't did. be on the podcast, you know, the, the last, because he was going to be in Vegas with, with me and, and Carol, because we were, you know, supposed to go the whole team. And we did work a lot in Vegas. Uh, we smoked some cigars in there, of course. Oh, nice. Some this girl like it? Lounges. Yeah. 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 And um, it was busy. I walked a lot. I don't gamble, so I didn't play. I didn't waste any money on that. Mm -hmm. but Is it for religious reasons? No, it's just for intelligent reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, I but feel so bad e because explain, Carol... Ex explain to the audience why you were in Vegas. Well... I think we had mentioned it before, but just to... I, ha I have one very interesting thing to say about Vegas, though. Uh, I mean, it was for the flooring business, uh, yeah. right? So, uh, I, Dylan works uh, with me and, and Carol, and um, we, we work in a flooring company, so... Um, and um, so we went for the trade show where there's a lot of... That's... Is the trade show that all of the flooring manufacturers they bring materials and they bring new colors and new products and whatnot. So it's whatever it's new, no. and that's what keeps us competitive. You know what I mean? Because we have direct, you know, contact with the manufacturers. Right. Uh, we cut most of the times the middleman of distribution or whatnot. But not only that, uh, we keep on relevant with the trends and um, with information on how to get you know any specific type of flooring. So there is no type of form that we cannot get. So that that's how we keep it um, fresh and and you know giving a little more. Uh, well, we potentialize the the business. So cool. And um, but one thing that it's uh, and I don't know because I did not investigate on that. But one thing that uh, strikes me is that everything as I was walking the very first time, but that since because I started smoking cigars that I saw Vegas as a Cuban uh, kind of very similar to Cuba, right? How so? <clears throat> the everything in there, you have like the strip, which is everything is nice, well made and beautiful. You, you, know, you go anywhere, it's everything is very expensive right apart yeah. from taxis you know taxis are very cheap and uber right um really? yeah <coughs> it's a very cheap place so yeah, yeah it sales used to be cheap way cheaper but mm. still wouldn't yeah. have guessed that sales sales tax and uh low low property taxes yeah. but i think it's family i used to live in oh Nevada. that's true also, or, or yeah reno reno i used yeah. to live in reno outside yeah. of vegas itself right everything is cheap mm -hmm. and kind of on the poor side yep you know what i mean yeah. so it's only the strip in there that is I, I'm, I'm talking about no i'm talking about reno i'm talking about vegas and then around vegas you know 10 miles away you know that like the taxi drivers like you know, he was a comedian guy and he actually knows of joe rogan he was. oh and he said that joe rogan hit on his daughter <laughs> jesus yeah, christ yeah. you know back in the day believable uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and 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 he he goes like I live by those mountain mountains there and he's he, he was from New York but you know because of you know some uh, health issues and the doctors tell, told him to move to a drier um, climate so that's and then he went to Vegas <laughs> but yeah, whatever it is right and, and then uh, me so. yeah but he says I you know I live by those mountains there so which is far away right yeah and uh, but that's what you know it struck me like well this is like Cuba you know what I mean it's like when you go to visit Cuba on a, on a organized setup like the cigar um, competition type of thing or, or any any other things that it is you don't see the real Cuba that is you know outside of their realm of 
you know, for tourism. Yeah, you've right. seen the and tourist version. A lot of uh, people that go, I mean, I, and I watched a, a podcast. Let me add, add, let me add few to the fire here. Can I use it, this voice here? Yeah. yeah. It's the nasty one, Fine, right? It's my <laughs> anyway, so when did they start moving and getting all the licenses in Las Vegas? Do you remember? I don't know. Um, Sorry, what do you mean by moving and getting all of because the Because no one, no one would populate the area, you know, and, and all of a sudden, <clears throat> all the bad money or whatever. It was the mobsters, to, yeah. It was yeah, the exactly. Italian mafia so, mobsters, yeah. Exactly. So it was 61. Some people say they still run it. When did, when did the, um, the dictator in Cuba? 61. Oh, okay. So actually, then what I thought so, that huh. was very similar, really, yeah. is is the story behind it. Uh, I'm just putting it together <laughs> because <laughs> I I heard in the past I don't know <laughs> I don't think not I heard in the past that uh, you know Cuba was like that you know the Americans would go play yes. uh, enjoy yeah. Yeah. and you have like girls at and that whatnot, time uh, you know would be a little bit more than a playground right yeah prostitution <laughs> and whatnot that's going that's on one. they're going to motels right <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> I don't then, know why so many motels there. So many like hotels. so many hotels, you know. People are super sleepy in Cuba. They, oh my God, people are sleeping during <laughs> they the sleep day. Sleep by the night. hour, though. It's so strange. Exactly. <laughs> you know, rent different people hour. with different. Yeah. So I'm just gonna sleep from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Yeah. yeah. You see that? And then I'll check right out. Who, who would say? Who would say? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what I felt for the very first time. I never really looked at that with that in mind because I've watched so many videos on Cuba, you know now because of cigars and whatnot, like Cuban cigars and, you know, and, and, and then it just like struck me like, this is very similar, even though I never been to Cuba, but watching a podcast about two or three months ago, the guy was, you know, exposing and all of that. So a Brazilian guy that went to Cuba, but then he, he stayed on, on people's houses instead of in hotels. And then he made a video on it. And explaining, you know, why, uh, you know, Cuba the way it is, and why people don't talk bad about, you know, the Cuban government and whatnot, and 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 like that stayed with me. But then, it's like that is like the, and he told me that, you know, that's why you know some people that really defend the, the left wing government kind of thing, they go and Cuba say, wow, this is great, because it's all fake. It's like going to. As, as the Christians say, when you go to hell, you know, the devil makes a party on the first day. So they think, well, okay, which one are you going to select? The hell or, you know, heaven? Mm -hmm. And then, well, I'm going to have a peek in the heavens. And I'm like, yeah, so peace and quiet, for, and quiet. And then you go to hell, it's party, nice. And well, I'm going to be, be here in the party. And then second day is like shit all over. There's no party anymore. Right? Uh, so that's... You know, <laughs> so are you saying North people. Korea is hell? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, look, I wouldn't say hell, but Helsinki. one thing I know, it's very dark. I'm just using like you know something you know to symbolize. Yeah. Uh, you know, like the the map with the lights. Yeah. So I know it's very dark. Well, the whole country. I'm has covering a all my man. Right. Darkest I'm just, days I'm just saying that dawn, I, by comparison you know? and using those, uh -huh. you know, you. like... Um, Sorry, I was trying to make a joke. Come on. Well, to that point, it's I, a... I thought uh, it that way. It's yeah. fake. Vegas has always been fake. You mm -hmm. have the fake Eiffel Tower. You've so got facade. New York. It's, it's on purpose. It is. It is on purpose. And that's it. You have the glitz and hey. glamour of the strip, and then you get outside, and you're like, People holy shit. go to Vegas, they get more of the same. They go to Vegas to live that. You know what I mean? That's why you go to Vegas. That's you're what getting happens away in from Vegas stays in Vegas. Vegas. Yes. What happens in Mexico comes out on YouTube the next morning. Uh, so there's a big difference in where you go and do things. You see, yeah. you see, this is what you get for the money investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's what you get. But I mean, I think people are that's that's and attraction. Soul, people are very attracted. Uh -huh. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, <laughs> nevertheless, <laughs> the uh, for the business was great. Uh, I saw some new things that we're going to be start offering to our customers. Mm -hmm. cool. And uh, some new lines of products that we ordered some samples to also start presenting to customers. Oh, very nice. Oh so, yeah, it was a productive. Sell some of it to my parents. We'll see. 
Yeah, and tiring, well. tiring and productive. Very tiring. Like the one day I walked in one big square convention center, 13 miles. Jesus Christ. In one day. Jeez. I believe it. Yeah. yeah. Just a lot. the time of that. I was sitting back thinking, like, how if I wouldn't have gotten tested and just tried to get on the flight and go, like, how many people's lives I would have fucked up. <laughs> In that, that airplane. In that small airplane, and then in the convention, or there's all the people I'd go and see. Or Honestly, I think when, by the time we got there, I would have just had to stay in the hotel room. I wouldn't have been able to leave, because getting out of bed hurt. I know, a weird delay, but I, everybody on that plane would have been sick. Bad. It and, is, how and, contagious is this one? Do you, it's do highly it, contagious. Highly Even contagious. after you test negative, it's supposed to be still, still contagious, so. Is that is that a name for this variant? Do you know? Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there is, but yeah. it's the Super J one or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad to be sitting right next to you. To test the negative. Gotta try your pipe. <laughs> yeah. We share a pipe. Like mate. Yeah. Like, you gotta go back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it'll. Can I have uh, another one, please. So going into. Uh, <laughs> Question for everyone. That's all. What was uh, one of your favorite vacations? Now that we're talking about Cuba, Las Vegas, and do you have a favorite vacation that you've ever taken? Mm -hmm. What was it? Alaska. And did you take a cruise, or was that a flight up with a Both. itinerary? Oh, okay. I, fl I flew up, and then we took a train ride. I've been multiple times, but the first time I went... We so you fly into Anchorage, which is the main place you fly in, and there's like a bay, like fishing town called Seward, which is a couple hours away or like six hours by train. The first time I went, we drove it. The second time we went, we took a train. And there, I went on like a deep sea fishing. The first time, a deep sea fishing tour, caught halibut. The mm -hmm. second time, I went on like a sea life tour where they take you out of the bay into like the deep ocean and you go whale watching. Mm -hmm. That was cool. And then you get back to Anchorage. It's called Flat Top Mountain. It's this huge hike up a mountaintop. And, like, there, I have pictures I could show. Um, you're in the clouds. So it's, like, pictures of me, a little bit of ground. It's a mountain. And then you can't see anything. It's just clouds. And you break <laughs> through that and you get to the flat top. And it's just breathtaking. It's actually the picture on my screensaver on my laptop. It's one of the pictures of me and Sam at the top of the mountain up there. Oh, wow. How oh, cool. Um, Alaska's really cool. It's, like, the last frontier. Yeah. Um, Man, there's so many places that are inaccessible there. The only place you, the only way you can get there is by plane. Those little small Cessnas, yep. seaplanes sometimes, and it's just really remote living. And uh, I don't think I could live there long term just because of the way the solstice happens mm -hmm. in the summertime. It's just always sunny, so it'd be midnight, two in the morning, and there's still like it looks like sunset. Like You're still bright, so you'd have yeah. to have like blackout curtains. And then in the winter, you just get no sun. So I'd imagine that's depressing. I've never been in the winter. I've only ever been in May and July. And it was super bright, basically, the whole time. You've been there twice? I've been there twice. Once in May, and then another time in July. The most recent time was in July. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, we went camping out at a Primrose, um, which there was bears there. Fell asleep in a tent on the ground next to a flowing stream. I mean, it's just nature... Let's set up a dinner on us, on my wife and I, because we, we really want to go. My favorite trip so of all time. Then. I, so would, I would definitely would Anchorage, love to have a dinner with you guys. Try Seward. It's, a, it's like a fishing town. <laughs> and then we went up to Denali, which is where the biggest national park is, one of the tallest mountains in the country. Yep. And we did like an ATV tour there. And so Sam and I got to drive all throughout there. And um, there's a place where you can take rocks and break them and look for gold and obviously no one really finds it but it's possible um, there's just so much you can do there um, and it, isn't it so simplistic that we have the it, image ooh. of Alaska uh, we just like just a few things come up to our minds right and then when you're describing here is much more than yeah the simpler simplistic view if you go there in the winter the you place. can ski Alaska is like an hour outside of Anchorage um, great ski town there's a lot of you can do almost anything there um, fancy or it's fancy oh. Alaska is in particular you can go to different places that aren't so high end okay. but um and then it's just like the second you step out of the airport in Anchorage it's like the air is cold and cool
crisp. Crisp, and it just feels like unadulterated. It doesn't feel like so polluted the way that it does in other places. Because it's a huge, I mean, it's bigger than Texas yes. with such a small population. And once you start getting out of those mains, and that being said, Anchorage is a very old town. So if you look at the city of Anchorage versus the city of Austin, Anchorage looks like it's from the 1800s. Do you know? Super old buildings. Do you know why Anchorage is the maybe the thing Anchorage is mo most famous for? Um, the bay comes all the way in, so there's it's a big like import export. And air and airplanes right now, like they because people and there's are, lots of trades there through Russia. Too. Yes, yes, because um, Bering Sea. Because you know, like for logistics, you always have to see how much you can carry and how fast you can go. Yeah. So. They put it together and they saw that the best return on investment would be to go, have, you know, stop in, load it, stop in Anchorage, and then you go to other places. So and then you can use it more, uh, more fuel, but it's worth it because of the amount of uh, products you have. So yeah. now, right now, especially because some countries can fly over uh, Russia or, you know, like or China, because mm -hmm. of that, Anchorage is becoming, I think it was for, for, I think for a couple of months, in the 60s was number one airport be the busiest airport in the world huh interesting the one in anchorage yeah just for this period just for this oh. uh, during the sanctions it's a really cool airport too they have a lot of cool stuff it is really beautiful but it's an interesting one if you if you look at it the way it comes into the city and these huge like freighters can get access in because it's just the, the whole ocean the bay comes in and it's similar um and seward as well like if, Seward is a breathtaking place when you actually step foot on the dock. You know what? You gave me a good idea, man. I'm going to read some literature from that area, you know, like describing the city, describing that. So this is a good reference. So Anchorage to Seward, and there's a train that you can take, which I highly recommend. It The drive is two hours. The train is six, and you have to get there really early in the morning. It's a whole day thing, but it's really cool. They serve lunch, and you get to hear everybody talk about everything see a different part of alaska than you would have seen driving on the railroad tracks but it, well driving don't really see much yeah there you do just because mm -hmm. it's mountains and you're driving right along the coast Peter, of the water yeah so you Peter, see a lot Peter, Peter. but imagine like if the the road follows almost the coast right and then the train starts taking you more into like the mountain areas and you see stuff that you oh, wouldn't have seen but even the drive is really gorgeous um but as you get to this area i don't know if there's one more it's zoomed in or not deal. But this bay, uh, I believe it's the Hudson Bay, um, it takes you out to the straight ocean. And inside that bay, whales from the ocean can come all the way in, and you can see them. I would recommend Anchorage. How and far is it? It's like a, a little over a two-hour drive. Because um, I didn't see the scale of the graphic. So of the graphic also. I, 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 I'll, I'll sorry. Um, it's, it's a decent drive, and then well, what I would do, it's what we did, you Beautiful. book a day to do the train ride that takes you to Seward, and you oh. can stay the night, or you could do the return, oh, no, but it's that. a whole yeah. fishing town, and you can get like fresh clam chowder, you can do the deep sea fishing oh, that's experience. Awesome. Um, that's by far the best trip I've ever been on. It must be easy to be a Quincy Canada was nutritionist too, in Alaska, right? So yeah, you ask so people to eat fish? Everyone eats it. Yeah. It's a two and a half hour <laughs> drive by, <laughs> by car. And um, it's not Texas, right? You, so can, it's, you it's, can change the train. I'll do that next. Um, by, by car. And it's not Texas, right? So speed limit's different. We had a rental car. I had a, a Ford Bronco Sport. And I was pushing that thing 120. And um, from, from Denali to Anchorage. Anchorage to Denali is like four hours. And this is where we went to do like the ATV thing and go camping out in the mountains. It's all the way up north. Um, by car. They can't calculate the driving. Why not? Because you, you can't even go to here. Let me say uh, State Park. You can only really get access to that State Park. Right. And then you have to go all the way on foot or yes. ATV. ATV. Yeah. Um, and w once you get to the park, there's all sorts of things you can do. You can camp out there. Um, okay. Maybe it's only two and a half hours remembering it differently but that's to here and then once you get to the state park there's all different kinds of things you can do so i would recommend you you fly in the main airport is anchorage and then from there if you want to it depends on what you want to do do you want to go camping at a um state yeah. park like denali on the way to seward is also the exit glacier i don't know if you've ever seen a glacier in person you can go hike and go see the glacier 
Um, there's a part where it tells you to stop. It's receding over time as it melts, and it gets further and further away. So me and my stepdad just went past the line, um, and we kept going. So I got to go all the way, touch the glacier. I took well, a that's the sign that says, don't go. Yes. And you went anyway. And we took a picture of it and laughed and said, I'm from Texas. And I kept on walking. And then we went all the way to the glacier and started grab, grabbing rocks. I don't ever... The thing is, if you get lost out there, it's expensive to get a helicopter to come out. But I don't think you really get fined. Like maybe if there's like a park ranger or something. But I don't know. So, but needless, needless to say, I should avoid the winter. Uh, avoid the winter. I only ever go... I wouldn't go any earlier... really like snow. I wouldn't go any earlier than June, man. I wouldn't even go... Like, oh, at the very end no. of May. But it's these... Uh, <laughs> the Kenai Fjords that you see when you're in Seward. This is where... Ah. So when you get into Seward here, this bay, you take a tour that takes you all the way out. Mm -hmm. And then right here is Resurrection Bay. You go all through here and you kind of... This is just the open sea. <laughs> And those waters, dude, when you get out there, it's kind of intimidating. You're like, holy shit, it all comes just, just from this bay. But the whales and everything from the North Pacific, they come right up and in. I'm so you can whales. see whales even in here before you get all the way down The bay here. even have a shape of a whale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they take you out here and you can see the Dolphins. receding glaciers from the water. And then um, the actual national park where you can go do the exit glacier tour is somewhere between... Seward and, and Anchorage, but there, there's just a lot to do. I took one of the seaplane tours, so we took a plane up and saw wow. everything. I did everything you could do there. Um, the deep sea fish, I did everything. Everything besides hunting. I didn't go out and do like a weekend. That would be awesome to go hunt some moose or something. I'd like that. I mean, like That'd 300 cool. Winchester and bring your nuts. Forget about my best vacation. Let's go to Dylan's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's up next? <laughs> yeah, well, I, as I mentioned, right? I, I really I wanted right to. Why was he the first one? <laughs> <laughs> he was to my right. Yeah. Sorry. It was yeah, just, he had just COVID. I just wanted to ask. I think it's one of those vacations. <laughs> before he dies? Uh, yeah, before, before he gets in, us infected. <laughs> before you die in the next couple of weeks, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was a great vacation, man. That's a, and I've been twice. It sounds and I'd awesome. love to go man, again. Look, I want to get married there. It's just too expensive. Instead of going after him describing my vacation, I'm going to do something different. Uh, yeah, i got to do something. i got to break it down, right? So, so why? Uh, why? Let's because talk about your best vacation. Because that's my style. Right, so uh, uh, it's, it's about vacation. It's okay. about vacation. No, right? I mean, the question was very specific. What is the so, best vacation? But since when you you answer the questions? Well, yeah, it's like the <laughs> well since never. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> no, what I would say that and the I travel a bit, right? So um, I would say that I have to think about what kind of vacation I was taking. So with whom I was going with, you know. So um, instead of describing one specific, I would have to go um, one by one. What do I mean by that? Right. So this year, after celebrating my surgeries, right, so my my clean bill of health, I went to New York with my wife. It was the most romantic trip I've ever taken. Oh, cool. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is what, this is with her. Now. The most adventurous and exciting trip was to the countryside of Bahia. Mm. I picked up a Uno. Do you know what a Uno is? No. A car? Ah, oh, yeah. You talked about this one. Exactly. The, the other yeah. podcast, yeah. Oh, is that those uh, sand, the, the sand rails? It's, sand uh, it's a Fiat it's, it's like 1.0. Yeah. 1.0. 1 uh -huh. But ours was much less. Okay. <laughs> because we was fucked up. No radio. No air conditioning. No air conditioning. Okay, so and forty, yeah, one hundred and ten, one hundred and twenty. Yeah, it goes, it goes to Texas weather. Exactly. Summer. Yeah. Right. But human. Um, <laughs> but man, human. so think about that, right? <laughs> so no, no, everything elect, not nothing electric, and anyway, so we have to stop and change the tires during the trip. Um, we walked about in miles. I, w I would say for five or six days in a row, thirty kilometers a day, Jeez. which is a lot. Right, so a little bit, a little bit less than twenty, what the twenty miles a day. Yeah, yeah. That's so yeah, so that's an adventure. So you see that, like, this is what adventurous, right? So now with people, 
I already had a, a, a trip. We went, I think we were, what, 15 couples. Oh, and we rented this, this um, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, you probably don't know. It's in Santa Catarina. It's all the way south. And we went there, we are there. And you see that Brazil doesn't have like. Where in Santa Catarina? Um, in. Um, but I. No, no, no. Baba, Rosa. No, no, no. It's um, I forgot the name. Okay. So we went there. Is like there is no, you know, like no catastrophes back in Brazil, right? Except for that weekend. We were there on the, you know, the top of the of the cliff, just our house on the top of the cliff, and then we observed the whole um, hurricane. Oh, he said the So. That was adventure. So do you understand what I'm saying? Like trips, it depends on how you travel, with whom you travel, mm-hmm. yeah. when you travel, right? So, yeah. okay. That last, the most recent trip to Alaska, there was a, it was the first time I've ever been in an earthquake. Oh yeah, you told, you told, you, you said that. It was just a little thing, right? Yeah, but I'd never felt one before here. Man, we are holding the, holding the doors because the, you know nothing works well you know like in brazil right the doors right of those places right so we have to hold the Don't doors do and the windows we couldn't close the windows it was i didn't think i would die i didn't I never i, I didn't cross, never didn't cross the mind no it, it didn't cross my mind but i was scared like when it's something so big happening man you're so anyway you have so many different trips right oh, yeah well that's cool what about you hilton I was about 17 years old and I went to Fortaleza. Ah, okay. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been to Fortaleza yet, but... That was nice. Oh. <laughs> Tell us cool. a little bit more. <laughs> you know what to call me to Fortaleza? It was cool. I, I, huh? I, went, I, I went to Fortaleza too, okay? Uh-huh. And then it was 4.30 in the morning going back going back home from a, pa- from a party. It was cool. A segunda feira mais louca do mundo. You're not selling me on it at all. We danced a little bit of 4 all. 4.30 and it's Thought you were gonna day, say it's already day. Egypt. People exercising, you can't sleep, it's too hot. Yeah. 4.30. Yeah. 4.30 a.m. Yeah, there was no drinking water. Um, <laughs> it was hard to get, but uh, it was nice. Uh, <laughs> People sleeping in trees. Yeah. No, to be honest, <laughs> that, to be honest, dude, yeah. that's after so Alaska. You know? Just yeah. tell your story. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to compare. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, find an angle. Why find well, we an met, angle? We met some, it's cool. You know, yeah. me, my brother, <laughs> okay. and my, my sister, uh, we made some friends, and then, you know, one of these uh, group of girls that we met, and they, they were like, I was 17 years old, and they were like, you're like 23 years old. And I was like, hmm. That's why in my bed, I mean, because I was recognized as a grown up instead of a teenager. You know yeah. I mean? uh, and but that's cool. the that's the town where I. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, that, bitch. That's when I. Bought <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you're back to sixteen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's where I bought. Yeah, that's, cool. that's where I bought my guitar, which I still have uh, as of today, and it has one of the greatest acoustic sounds of any it's guitar. It's a really good guitar. Yeah. It is a really good guitar. Everybody that, you know, plays on my guitar, they go like, how is this? I mean, this is so good. I mean, it's a really good guitar. And it was the cheapest one in the store. <laughs> and, that's uh, awesome. But yeah, that's a good story behind that. How so old is it? Uh, 92, so... 31 years old. Is, yeah. that, is that right? Yeah. 32. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, man. I'm glad you had a great well, tip to Fortaleza. <laughs> but I'm really surprised no one said anything about cruise ships. I don't like cruise ships. I've never you been don't like, to one. No, I haven't been. I've on been one. on Have one. Have you ever been on one? I've been on one. Yeah. Have you? I want to go. You been no, on cruises? I haven't. Not yet. No kids, yeah. please. I went on a cruise yeah. once. I want to go with no kids. And it was wow. just like a short cruise. It was like a Mexico cruise, and my parents got married on it. It was on Thanksgiving. So, okay. But the waters were so terrible that all of the shows got canceled because they were, like, on the stage where they do their plays and stuff, people were, like, falling because the ship was really rocking, which is hard to do on a cruise ship. So the waters were just really bad. And I thought it was okay. We did one stop. 
It was okay. I wouldn't do it. You didn't have to hold the doors. No. I, what, uh, Not what, a hurricane. No, like no. me. Like, oh my <laughs> what God. What I think would be really cool for a cruise would be like a Mediterranean cruise or some type of like European cruise with like five, seven stops and you go do a bunch of excursions. This is where we, we were planning to go. Malaga, Alicante. Cool. What I did Spain. wasn't cool. Spain and yeah. the islands, in you know, in Spain, the Spain, the islands. Mm -hmm. We want to do that part. Uh, that would be cool because we want to travel. Actually, going to travel to uh, Austin, Madrid, Madrid, fly Barcelona, Barcelona, Valencia, mm -hmm. and then in Valencia you rent a car and then you go all the way down to okay. Sevilla um, by the shore, and then Along there the and there in Sevilla. You can take the so you take a cruise like that. You take a cruise, yes, oh, through fun. the Mediterranean. And, cool. and it's a little bit more expensive. Yeah, but it's in, sure. but it's Barcelona, it's Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia. If you don't go to Vegas, you have the money to do that one. Exactly. It doesn't matter if it's more expensive. Or it's if you go to cheaper Vegas, than maybe Vegas. You, <laughs> maybe you win some money and then you. Really it really You go to Bahrain. Yeah, Bahrain is cheap. You go to Bahrain for about the same price you go to Vegas. If you're looking to go to the Middle East for any reason. It's actually a beautiful country. Yeah. Seriously. No, it is. It is. I, I watched a video on it. It's so really what about the ocean? Let's, let's see about cars. What, was that Afghanistan? Uh, it's close to. Bahrain is kind of close to Afghanistan, but it is the in your, no, your, your favorite vacation. What was your favorite vacation in Afghanistan? Oh, yeah, definitely <laughs> Afghanistan. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to beat Alaska and Fortaleza, so Afghanistan <laughs> is definitely yeah, Afghanistan. I gotta watch. Yeah. <laughs> gotta look at... And, and you know what? And honestly, saw a bunch of Frenchmen die. It's cool. Yeah. You know, and and honestly, being wiped off. He's like, it's cool. That's, <laughs> That's all he has to say about it. it's cool. That's story. It's all right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's all cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. But I mean, I I That's stayed I stayed in Afghanistan for seven months. So I mean, extended stay. It's 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 a very long vacation. You overstayed. Yeah. You yeah. overstayed your welcome. And right? I like get the hell they out of here before you we shoot end. you again. Did you, yeah. Where is so, that? Did you have Did you have to apply for a visa to get, go there? Uh, no, it's crazy. The political system oh. in in Afghanistan is a little wonky. So. Mm -hmm. Just show up, and they're like, yeah, "Here, here's a gun." Did you get to have any Afghani food? People. Here's a yeah. Here's a yeah. Uh, what are those things called? A spider Hummus. camel camel spider. Oh, I have seen those. They're like this big. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you see any of those for real? Yeah. Oh, you did. We actually caught a camel spider and a scorpion you, and put them into a ring of death. How did you catch it in a cage? You like set up a trap? No, we, we we had a cup. We had a cup. For a walked. camel spider? <laughs> yeah. How big Circus. was it? It was just like a little... Oh, like it was right. a baby one? Yeah, it wasn't anything too bad. I don't remember. So, but camel spider, yeah. That's nasty. Yeah. I wouldn't fuck with the, the yeah, camel spider. Camel spiders are crazy. Penicillin will laugh at that shit. Well, and it's funny because, so, because it gets so hot in <laughs> Afghanistan that the spiders will chase after you to go to, to get into your shadow to cool off. Oh, fuck. So all you see is a giant spider about this big running after you. So you'll just randomly be, just like, rocking, and all of a sudden you hear, bop, 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 bop. And someone's just like, goddamn camel spiders chasing after me again because they're trying to get in your they're shadow in just to get in the shade. That's yeah. fucked up. Do you yeah. have any good Afghani food? Or are you just doing, like, MREs? Yeah, MREs. Uh, I did have goat. Um, so I actually was on post for a little bit with the Balranians. Um, they came over and helped. And the Bahrainians uh, were like, "Come over and have some Most. some food with us." And no booze then. No, no, no alcohol. Yeah, were they? It's a dry country. Muslims. The yes. Ones you, the ones yeah, majority yeah. of them are Muslim. majority. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is promise. the weirdest. Which is the weirdest thing because we're on post, making sure that nobody invades and comes into our military base. And then sunset time, they go down, they leave their posts. They're just like, and they don't even say anything. It's like, oh. And they go pray to Allah. They put down their rug and they pray. And I'm like. You see fire? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I get it, guys. I get it. But at the same time, someone could be, like, coming in and Waiting trying to kill us. Time. Yeah. And, and, you and could plan it, like, right then. Because, you know, it's but, like clockwork. It happened every day at sunset. They would do that. They would do that. But anyways. Uh. Interesting. Your best vacation. So that was my so best, that was your vacation. best vacation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sandstorms and <laughs> sand up my crack and you know everything. So, yeah. but uh, back to cruises. Um, I wanted to bring up that the world's largest cruise ship just set sail and is ready to start its voyage okay. out of the port of Miami. So cool. they're doing. How big a, is it? Uh, it's huge. 
you know, now this is the biggest in the world. So big. I believe it's 7,000. <laughs> it can hold 7,500 people. Wow. That's a, water, That's a yeah. city. So, and, and our mutual friend, oh, water. Our, our mutual friend went on uh, a cruise down to Mexico for Christmas uh, with his family. And I was asking about it because I've never been on a cruise. And he was like, oh, honestly. Well, and and because I've heard those horror stories too, where some people love him and some people hate it. And he goes, "It was one of the best times of my life." Mm -hmm. He was like, "There were five thousand people on this on this ship." He goes, "But the the ship was so big that you hardly ran into people. There was no lines for anything. You walked up to the bar, you got yourself a drink, you went to the pool, and maybe there was ten or fifteen kids, you know, or people in the you know in the pool on the thing." And then you just walk off like, oh, I'm going to go see a show. I'm going to go watch a movie in the movie theater. It was, he, and he said it was total re relaxation for him. And I think that's kind of what they're trying to push and entertain with these mega, mega ships is that it's so big. There's so many attractions. There's so many things to do that we're scale. putting. That's what scale gives. Me. Well, it's put 7,000 people, you know. In 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 something. It's a budget of a city. Yeah, and but have enough space to roam around and not feel cramped. You you just you'll never feel it. You'll Wait, calculate feel that. that for us. What seven thousand people times how much these people are paying for? How much is that? Are yeah, you? I don't know how much tickets are to go on the world's biggest ship, but there's six pools. There's a full-on water park. Um, there's just so many things to do. Again, movie theaters that it has its own its own casino. If you want to do any a gambling, a lot of synergy, space synergy. Yeah, because you accept in a boat, you accept that things are tighter. Yes. If you're if you go your room, to, your room's gonna be tighter. Your room, you see, and it's okay. You're, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to an American, you know, an American uh, hotel room, which is two king beds in there. No, it's gonna be short. It's gonna be small. But One thousand eight hundred. Okay. So if you've never been on a cruise before, you think of a boat, right? Rooms on the outer perimeter of the boat are more expensive because you get the water view. And then there are some rooms that are that they call them um, interior state rooms. You don't have windows, like you don't see anything. Like you're and like there's another rooms outside. Could be very claustrophobic. So, yeah, and those are the smaller rooms, basically two thousand per person, and it just goes up the from smaller there. One. Okay. The smaller one. So if you averaged it at like three thousand, thirty five hundred, I guess, because some people are going to spend like seven, and some people but are going to spend two. This is just a hotel. That doesn't include any excursions or anything you do. Exactly. That includes food. It doesn't yes. include alcohol, but it no. includes soda and water yeah, and tea sure. and food. But it doesn't include any of the extra stuff. But if I mean, you average you it thirty five hundred. It's seven thousand. And you spend that, okay? So look at that. Twenty four and a half million per trip. In uh, revenue, I don't know what they profit on that, but so and, and that's, that's a lot. And that's a that's lot of just souvenirs. Operating that's cost. a lot of Yeezys. Yeah, it's a lot of Yeezys. But the thing is, the operating cost for a uh, two billion. So the the boat, the cruise ship that I was talking about, um, cost two billion dollars to build and construct. What's the return on that? Well, and, and how long is the return on investment for a two billion dollar cruise ship? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so that has to be taken into consideration also. But I'm sure. I mean, we we're just calculating the average cost of something. Can you imagine being on the? Not only do you have the prestige merchandise of being on the world's biggest cruise ship, but having on something that's brand new. Everything is brand brand new, not old. Where you have to sleep in an old bed or see old things like it's a brand new ship sometimes that's not very good i mean you've seen what happened to titanic well and and that's it is like you know it's got to test the waters hopefully the literally yeah hopefully how tall is it did you, did you see that the water i didn't can cold. you pull it up i'm sorry it's uh it is uh it is. yeah icon of the sea. icon of the sea from royal uh, caribbean, royal caribbean. Looks look tall how, to me. Look how big that thing is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that looks cool. And we, I, it's, it looks big without scale. Because when you have the scale, then you, you clearly see how big it is, right? But in this case, you could tell it's a mammoth. Right. Um, this 
Cheapest was 260 per day at 820 for a seven night stay in an interior stateroom. This cost goes all the way up over 75. That's why I told you to me like seven grand per person on the high end. Yeah, eight, without eight, including eight, any eight, extras. Right? Exactly. So that's what I'm you could average it at like 3,500 to 4,000 per but person. But if you go there and you're buying this $8,000 ticket, of course you're going to spend another eight there, you know? That's per person too. Yeah. That's yeah, per, per person. person. Not yeah. just per family, per room no. or anything. That's per person. Seems there will be plenty of opportunities for trailers to spend big on the ship. The upcoming vessel has 22 dining venues, about half of which are specialty that come in at additional cost to accommodate the over 7,000 travelers. 14 of the 28 stateroom categories will be new to brand. This includes accommodations with a separate enclave for children, starting at over $2,000 per person, and the three-story ultimate family townhouse with a slide theater and karaoke for an average of $75,000 a week. If you want to be an elitist on, on the ship. Jesus Christ. You get a Don't we all want to be this guy? The elitist. <laughs> yeah. I live on a cruise ship in a three-story townhome with a slide and a karaoke, a home theater. But anyway, so I thought I thought tying it all in with vacations and, you know, cruise ships, the, the largest the largest cruise ship in the world has set set sail and is now actively um, taking reservations and accommodations and, you know. It's on duty. On duty, yeah. So. 365 meters long, 20 decks, 250, almost 251,000 gross tons. <clears throat> 1.2 thousand feet. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. irony, the irony of this, though, is. 15 minute walk from one end to the other is <laughs> people talking about the environmental impact of something that big. Sure. Pollution. The amount of motors. This is comparing is it, it to other ships. Oh. So the oh. next biggest would be the Carnival Celebration of 2000. It's 2350. 2350. Jesus. 18 passenger decks. Two crew decks. It employs a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Keeps jobs. business going. Yeah. Keeps the economy going. It's a city, man. It's capital. It is. You need a city, you know, to supply to a aquatic, movable city. Yeah. You know? Icon yeah. of the Seas has more than an extra 10 ships worth of space compared to Wonder of the Seas. Uh -huh. 10 small ships, sure, but still. So one big ship. Yeah, yeah. With those two, 10. Hell of a big ship. So I thought that was interesting. It was. Look, look at this my, aerial view, man. That's it, a big boat. It yeah. might convince me hold to on, take a on. cruise. It might convince me to take a cruise. That's an... Uh, well, on this and on this big beast? Oh, I don't know if I can... I'm not going to go on that big beast, but I'll not go now. on something similar. Yeah, not now. Not now. I'm yeah. just... It depends. The only reason I didn't like the Mexico cruise is because it's kind of short, and then you do like one main stop in Mexico. So it's like a bunch of days on sea, one stop, and then a few more days no, on sea. It's not that. The problem with the... the I did it. That was the problem. The, the problem with the cruise... I mean, so I mean, that was the, that no, was the no, problem. No? I lived it. That was my problem. Let no, no, me no. explain what the problem is. I didn't finish. I'm trying to put a joke in here. Ah. Oh, that's not the problem. Things don't happen that way. What? Like, like okay. United States breaking up one state. The Texas has it in the Constitution that they can. It's Texas written in our in our thing. It, it, uh, we have a, a law that is. supersedes the federal law, which is why right now, if, tr if Biden doesn't agree to help us on the border, and he's trying to tell us not to, we can take matters into our own end. And our own Texas Constitution supersedes the federal Constitution. That's the way we view it. So, yeah, but you know, you don't choose to leave the union. You yeah. do when they're not backing you. The whole reason, what, what's the point of joining? It's going to cost you, you an arm and leg. And then for some, sure. we're being invaded and attacked. Or, I'm speaking on behalf of what's, I'm not saying we're being invaded. There's a lot of football I'm fans in here that would never let that happen. What's going on? <laughs> well, you're yeah. saying, oh, we owe money to the... The Texas economy is the eighth largest economy among the nations of the world, larger than Russia, Canada, Italy, and more. Yes. The state of Texas. Yes. I don't think we'd have a problem leaving. Yeah. And just because we owe money doesn't mean we're going to pay money. Have you ever uh, met China? Goes on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So are you going to, are you really? Are what's, you, what's China going to do about us not paying? I'd love to see them come over here. I got some 5.56 five, NATO waiting for them. The world is. They got really wide eyes. Man. If, that, if that happened, 
the world, the whole Tell world you. is calculated. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. I got buddies with ranch houses and machine guns and machine gun Kelly. Yeah, when the We're American right Army on. comes, it's not like that. <laughs> the American you Army never, is not never gonna be. drop bombs oh. domestically. Oh, domestic? He's not domestically anymore. Well, <laughs> it would be. You wouldn't, right? You wouldn't. Well, to that point, when you Wait, when you I'm join the military, the you, take, you, you take an oath to protect um, to protect against the Constitution, yep. foreign and domestic. So, it could be something in the United States. In all fairness. We have our own army, though. We have our own military for Texas. Will they win? I don't fucking know. But that says a lot more about Texans than it says about anybody else. Like, I'm willing to fuck around and find out. <laughs> All right. Well, I think if I look it. at life as like a zoo, but it's the, I don't want to be a zoo animal, war is and I got to sit behind cages, you. and you're going to bring me food and water every day, or I can go out and hunt myself. I'd rather take the risk and go out and be a free animal and hunt myself. I don't want to sit in a, in a cage just because you're going to bring me food every day. I'd rather take that risk. I'll be hungry some days, and some days I'll yeah, be living I'm good. I'm not sure if it's a... That's my choice. You don't get to take my choice from me. I'm not sure if, it, I'm not, I'm not sure if this analogy fits in there. Why? What's welfare? <sighs> Man, uh, it, it, it looks like, oh, yeah, you know, like you have, you, know, you have everything to be independent. But we see what happened with the grid, right? Uh, you might imagine how. Im <laughs> imagine how. Yeah, I, I just invited. I don't it, know. I don't okay? know. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I don't We're know. all good. Yeah, okay, no, it's uh, not yeah. good. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> I yeah, have no idea. <laughs> it's just about the consequences of a war, you know? Because like, this is war. I mean, like, America would never allow Texas to leave. Never. Ever. Ever. Even. Why? Because it's part of the, you know, like this is how, this is how this is the United States, you know. Like, does the United States benefit Texas, or does Texas benefit the United States? I feel like maybe we're getting to a point where we're not feeling the benefits of being a part of the the United States anymore. You can try, <laughs> right? So it's yeah. not me. Yeah. I'm just no, no, a no, sovereign no, citizen. No, but it's not about you. But I man. support. I support the movement. All right. I'm Text it. I'm the only yeah. person in, at this table, truly, that's born and raised here and has been born and raised with Texan values. So it's something that would be foreign to all of you. That you no, not understand. really, man, because our state in Brazil... It's is not the same. No, what? No, no, no. There is you state in the Brazil. Alamo? They want to they no, leave we, Brazil. We have, yeah. Many times over. Many times. Over over we we had a republic. We had a republic for 10 days. But there's so much, so much uh, treason. So you much you know, lay you can't compare, compare the two. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I'm not saying that there's no similarities, but you can't compare the two situations, and it's not going to be the same. It would be the same. would be different. No, but I think Hitler has you, you. You can establish lots of comparisons because we didn't want to have anything, anything to do with the country. Why? Because you have Uruguay and Argentina. The whole border it's very similar to the you know to the this side of the border. The same culture. You know, like Brazil, Brazil, they just said fuck it, and then they went. They went to Santa Catarina, and Santa Catarina became also a republic, Republica La Juliana. Yeah. So, believe me, man, uh, uh, I've been my whole life about you. separatism. My whole life, I heard about separatism for forty years. But that state that was it founded upon. A fighting culture of people that always protected that land, and that's yes. that's what they're built on. Yeah, because yeah. that's that's the whole mantra of the state of Texas. But they're exactly like what the South. Exactly. Exactly. The only difference is that the Texas state is like the one of it's, it's like the second biggest, the, the tenth economy in the world. Yeah, right? at second least. biggest, the eighth, the yeah. eighth economy in the world. Yeah. And Rio Grande do Sul wasn't that big. No, yeah. Yeah. That's why. That's why it was... The but I'm telling you, as someone, even if we had a republic for 10 days and it failed, a lot of people that led that movement would be proud that they tried. I'd, and I've said this a million times. I would, fighting for a cause that I believe in, rather die doing that than live a life serving someone else's agenda. That's just what it is. And that's what happened at the Alamo. If you remember the end of that story, yeah, we yeah. didn't win. Yeah, I went there. But went we're there. real proud of that. Yeah. Yeah, Tamidi said that the pilot, the, the, the pilot in the airplane in Japan said exactly that word. 
What? She keeps saying, remember the Alamo. Remember the Alamo? Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, we all remember Alamo. So, I'm sorry about all this, this but I have to sorry? Do it. No one should be sorry about anything. Right, so uh, comedians shouldn't that's... apologize for jokes, and you shouldn't apologize for the way yeah, you think about things. Yeah, it's just that uh, there's just... no reason to feel that way. Man, Tamiris will come here, and then you see, <laughs> you see what, what she's capable. Oh my goodness! Who your wife? My, oh my god! <laughs> she will be making those jokes. But remember the Alamo for us. It's it's very clear what Alamo means. <clears throat> I'm just talking about like the the. Uh... We were so outnumbered. Yes. I went there like three times, I think. Just see. Trying know. to find the, like, mm. this, the cool. specific number, but the amount of Texans that you actually had defending that versus the amount of the was, Mexican army yeah. that was coming in it was heroic. Obviously, we were set up in a, in a bunker and a better angles of mowing them down, but we took out so many. So many. Five to one. We were going to die. You know, yeah, five to one, whatever it was, and I just don't think it's going to be too dissimilar. We, I'm not saying we're going to win. They probably won't even, will never leave the United States. It's not even going to happen. But just the fact, f first of all, so you know, this has been talked about for years, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just now. This is unprecedented. What's happening right now at the border and the way Biden's not supporting this has never happened before. And getting basically a direct order from the top down, we're not following it. This has never happened. So how are we supposed to predict what's going to happen? I think nothing's going to happen, but we'll see. I don't, I don't know. But uh, what did the federal government do now? How, what is the current situation? They want... Joe Biden put out a press statement saying that he wanted to have the executive authority to open and close the border at his pleas. He said it in other words, but that's what he asked for. And he said, as soon as you pass this bill, I'll close the border. He Why do we exactly, have to pass a bill to do that? Which is exactly what Trump said. So, but he's a demon if you say that. But that's but I mean that's the thing is like it's not the opposite because I see the, the thing the opposite like with Biden saying he's the demon, you know like if Trump says oh it makes sense it's because of the day and age that we're living in because uh, yeah. four years ago everybody hated Trump everyone still hates Trump but we're we're in a Biden administration so when you're comparing the two it's like you have to go back in time and how were people responding to Trump Trump said he wanted to put a wall up people wanted him assassinated that's the truth now uh, now what's happening people, people still want like, him assassinated. Yeah. Um, they don't even want him on the ballot. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, this is for other reasons, right? So there are many other reasons why he... I don't think it matters. Well, um, he can be in jail. He can be in jail and he can be a candidate, right? It's okay. I think there's a lot of people that should be in jail that aren't in jail because they have money. So whether or not they're running for president or not is no... Yeah, but... Uh, we're, what we're... I guess exploiting is what everyone already knows. Is right. It's not a fair system. No. So no. if we're trying to argue to make it fair, good luck. It it's, doesn't result in anything. What I feel is that I feel for the Republicans, really feel for the Republicans, have to submit to a guy like this and destroy the party. They love him. Yeah. Huh? They love him. They don't want your pity. They don't want Who you to feel bad him? for them. Republicans. How much of their vote is loving? A large amount of Republicans in this state. A large oh, in this amount. state. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this I don't state think it's just true. ours. Uh, this state. I, I think, think it's. I, I genuinely do think it's every. Uh, he is dominating all the caucuses leading up. So I, I don't think anyone's going to run against him at this point. They had to put in um, Nikita, whatever her real name is, Nikki Haley, and she's a Democrat. Oh, man, this is so. <laughs> what do you mean? That's her. No, somebody said her real name isn't Nick. Whatever her full name is, oh, yeah, Nikki. It's, it's uh, Nikita or something. I don't it's know. very long. It's a uh, something. It's That's all I'm saying. Native. Yeah. Sure. Oh. And yeah, she got teased really bad because she's brown and what. I don't. I don't care about any of that. I just think that she's never really pushed Republican agenda. All of her, that's the problem yeah, with politics. Has. I but, think her um, agenda is more Republican, way more Republican. Watch all the stuff that she's saying now, and then you go back, you can find clips of the exact opposite from 10 years ago. It's the same exact thing all politicians do. They just try and say whatever they think you're going to like, and then that doesn't mean she believes any of that. And it's it's what they call Rhino Republican and name only. Mm -hmm. She's on a Republican ballot, but I don't... It's happened, so I think that's the one disconnect that... 
Barack Obama did that. He called for you know closing borders and tough on crime. Really? And, oh, and did yeah. he? No, he doesn't change much. Yes. Nothing, nothing did anything. Yeah. And I'm not saying that Trump did or didn't do any of these things. I think people perceived him as a businessman that wasn't coming in, who had his pockets lined by lobbyists and other people and this other agenda. That's why some people in rural areas that are tired of the status quo and the bullshit yeah. are like, I want somebody that comes in that I feel like is going to represent me, and he's fighting against all this woke establishment bullshit but that's happening. A, Whether that's really going to happen make it or not, simp simplifying too is, much, you know, it's way way worse than this. Like, how many people look one into thing it that to the level of degree that you do? Those? No, no, no. Yeah, one so thing it has to be oversimplified. You see, like, I, I am very economic, economically liberal. Okay, economically liberal, because we have a different perception when we use the words, right? So, if there is one thing that neither these parties are, are economically liberal, zero. Like, uh, what? What one does is like, okay, so I will make it more flexible for the companies to make more money. The other for the, it forced the workers to make more money. You know, like we've seen these forces been fighting for 300, 400 years now, right? Um, so, um, yeah, the only, the, the thing is that the idea of capitalism, sorry, sorry. him, okay. So him yep. breaking up the treats. Breaking up treats, you don't come on, man. You, you have a treats with Latin America and South America. It when the treat was done was excellent for the United States, and the United States um, profited a lot from that. Now that it's balanced, now you go there. No, 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 now I can't be part of this. No, no, but there's a contract. Capitalism is contract, and you go there, you break all the contracts. That's my beef. My, my main beef is not social, man. This is bullshit. My main point is, is a hypocrisy. Is a hypocrisy. Oh, yeah. You get yeah. Both parties, okay? But I'm saying Trump specifically. That's why I say it's not a Republican. You know? Because uh, people think, Brazilians also think, right, <laughs> that I am, <laughs> I am a Democrat. I'm not at all. At all. Yeah. Just, it just needs to be the, le you know, the lesser evil. That's what I think. Right now, any met any candidate, any candidate from the Republicans, anyone, any any of, them, it doesn't matter. I am sure Biden wouldn't run. I'm sure Biden wouldn't run if for any other candidate. He said it. He said it. Yeah. And by the numbers, um, the Democrats will win by the by the numbers. It's you know like all this. This young Lat Latinos growing 12 times faster. Like how many millions of Latinos are going to vote that didn't vote four years ago? But the problem is, the one thing about Latino voters is it's, it's always an under, <clears throat> underpublished or an understudied demographic of people. you got to understand yeah. a lot of Latin families and a lot of Latin people come from oppressive Regimes. Either socialism or some type of communism regimes, and then they start hearing, oh, what it, you know, they may have come in under one specific type of president, but at the same time they go, this person is saying the exact same things of what happened in my country, in Colombia, in Venezuela, whatever. I'm here now. Like I want the, the exact opposite. Stop it. Like, like the president has like superpowers. This that is he, this yeah, is sign, sign this bill so that I can start doing things? No, 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 no. I can kill anyone I want it, and I'm the president. I uh, have immunity. That's what Trump is, like, the main thing about Trump right now is this. Who's he trying to kill? Huh? Who's he trying to kill? Whoever he wanted. He just made a comment, you know, at the It's time. not a comment, right? So he, he was <laughs> made Did speeches. Did he pull the gun and kill somebody? No, he said. I first of, it was a comment. Even first if of, it's a speech, it well, comes out of his mouth as a. As a okay, okay, okay. Lighter so, news: in a twelve-month fiscal period. I am down fifteen pounds. So drink to that. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you, gentlemen. Thank yeah. You. Congrats. Sitting at one seventy-five this morning. I was proud of myself. You do look skinnier. Hmm? Could have been the COVID. I think it, no, the COVID dropped me at least five, but I was I was ten under. I'm fifteen under now. You're you're trending down. Yeah. 15 under in a week or two weeks? No, no, no. 15 pounds less than I was a year ago. Okay. That's it. But I've been working. I started working out again. I feel great. I feel so good. So, fuck Trump. Fuck it. Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. We were. <laughs> you can say anything you want. I'm going to vote for yeah. Trump. 
Yeah. I, 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 I mean, hope you vote. I, there is one thing that I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to do is to change your vote. It, yeah. It'd be a waste of your time. Not yeah, mine. exactly. Yeah, no. It, I respect you too much to let you try because it's not going to. You wouldn't even want to try because it no. doesn't matter. My yeah. vote's not going to change the election yes. anyways. So you, what you should do is go try and change a bunch of rednecks opinion and then maybe they'll vote blue or something that might make a difference my vote's not going to make the difference and it's going to be red either way like just the way i was raised yeah and uh, i stand on business okay it's the way i was raised with that yeah <laughs> back to the studio yeah <laughs> back from our little uh conver- side conversation uh Telepathically, I've been sending you messages. Have you been? I've received have you been some. Picking them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hilton and I uh, signed up for uh, Neuralink. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh my god. Under uh, Elon Musk. Uh, yeah. So Notice you've been going to the bathroom a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay um, because I'm telepathically there with Hilton. I've been talking shit the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> Like no, I'm, I'm going to ask about vacations. You, you see just how say smooth very this cool, was, man? This is so cool. smooth, man. Yeah, I know. See, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, my God. I'm getting, 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 getting better at it. <laughs> it's smooth operator. Smooth operator. Wow. Wow. Just yeah. like, I have to let you guys know that we've been one hour and ten minutes. Okay. Well, we we'll still have to talk about football. <laughs> we'll wrap this up. and We don't have football this week. No football this week. We'll, yeah. we'll wrap we this up just really quick. Just Yeah, just talk about Neuralink. Uh, oh, yeah. First human, uh, first human trial implemented uh, happened the other day, and apparently the person's doing really well under medical, under medical observation. But the idea, as as Elon said, it was primarily going to be used for paraplegic, right. paralyzed people that have uh, no body bodily, or they've lost bodily functions to certain parts of their area, uh, to certain areas of their the body. body. So, like neural injuries and mm, like things that are exactly. Yeah, it's like you, if you're it's in a wheelchair. Somebody in a wheelchair that yeah. don't have the like the wheelchair. risk gain. It's like you'd, you'd gain way more than you would. It's not like you and me going and doing it, and then we could end up in a wheelchair. Superhuman and stuff like that. Man. Hey, that's that's where it's gonna. Because it, the whole thing toward, here, and that's where military exoskeletons. Yeah, all this sir. thing about <laughs> I, I am against, I am in favor, right? So it's because it involves ethics, right? So it involves yes. ethics, and yeah. it depend it depends sure. on what the, what the narrative right now people believe. Okay, so right now people believe because of all this GPT and, and AI. I mean, do are we innocent? Are we like? No, uh, we are not. We, we know that this kind of technology, when it comes out, it generates this. I mean, every kind of technology in the past. I don't know if you've seen a, a show that's showing that in the 70s, something was created and then everybody was against that. Uh, it, it's been like every century we have something like this. Now the narrative is that because, uh, because Elon Musk, you know, positioned him politically on one side then some people are against and others are in favor of that uh, this is what the simplism that was I was talking about you know oh, I get it everyone man can you stop GPT can you stop re- re- do you really believe that we are gonna oh no no we won't use this technology like AI no we cannot stop AI we cannot right. stop this you know no well so and I think that's the amazing thing is that it is such a benefit to people that have been hurt the most. Mm -hmm. Am I not going to say that there needs to be regulations and Mm. future companies and manufacturers are going to be coming up with their own type of Neuralink that is going to be like, hey, you want to run fast, you want to learn another language Mm -hmm. instantly? Install that chip, just put it right here Mm -hmm. on your brain. We can do it in 15, 20 minutes and there you go. Unlock I areas mean, of the brain that you know there's an appeal to that though they're, they're imagine accessing google in your thoughts mm-hmm. yeah. or the the thought is if you have Neuralink, you can telepathically communicate to each other i would i would get into a formula a car, i would get into a car ones. and i would download i don't send on me and i would beat him yeah he would download uh lewis hamilton 
mm. and he would say hammer time. And let's you know, see, let's see. That's in a modern happens. day F1 car, Hamilton wins, wins that race. But would I have given, would the, the Senna would adapt it to the current way to drive? It'd be an awesome test. Yeah, exactly, right? So he's like... <laughs> and that's an interesting thought. Of like you I'll could, be Nelson Pete. You could, yeah, uh, right? <laughs> you could put in like, like alternate personas or the mm-hmm. thought process of... You know that's scary but it's cool. i mean it's interesting, very it interesting. yeah but could that happen one day yeah it would be very expensive yeah there would be access to the people that already have a lot of money they're all another about like centuries it wouldn't make any difference for the rest of us because right they will have billions or millions it's or like whatever. elitist and then we don't right and then they were just like it, it wouldn't you know well, it wouldn't is, make any difference and well, what makes a difference is that somebody that cannot walk anymore now they start to walk well and i think that's this is the jumping leaping point into medical evolution is this right here if this succeeds as well as it has been succeeding then like i said people that lose limbs can now can now put an artificial limb on their on their body part that they've lost and now have complete function of it like they normally did just incredible so i think the medical implications of this is something that's going to be felt i mean until we destroy ourselves i mean it's like the new evolution past like stem cells this goes a step beyond this goes yes this goes beyond so i think it's cool in my opinion it's it's the most revolutionary medical uh, medical advancement in the world that's ever that's ever in the history of the world it's on trial now so well, so we, it was. We don't know that yet. Because so it's, it's already fine. been implemented. It's like and a clinical showed, trial that they've already done, right? On so like they've pigs done pigs and rat pigs and. Yes, they've done it on monkeys. I mean, there's that famous video of like the monkey being able to play pong. Yes. Function high level cognitive cognitive um, things mm-hmm. that it normally wasn't before the operation. Sure. And Did then they afterwards. take it out of the monkey? Because if they leave it in there. And then we have a problem. We have Planet of the Apes. You watched yeah. Caesar, Planet yeah, of the Apes? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, but that we need another catastrophe together for that to happen. Oh, Remember? Happen. Because they, they, only, they only stepped up because 95%, 98% of the population died. That's why the Apes, right? So it's a combination of both. Yeah. That's just, which is... Yeah, COVID-2. Oh. World War Three. <laughs> around, <laughs> World War III is around the corner. So. Yeah, World War Three. COVID-2. Just wanted to expand the topic. Uh, later, just for research, uh, yesterday I watched a video about this Kardashev scale, which is the eight levels of civilization from here to yeah. three million years ahead. You know, ahead. So every time I was watching, we are in civilization level zero. Level one, it means that we explore every single possible energy from the country, from the planet. Oh, yeah, we're nowhere near that. And I was like, okay, but what is level two, right? So I was like, no, no, level two, but impossible. What else? And then they explain level two is something more incredible than no they can't go to level three and then they go from level to level to the man to level civilization civilization eight yeah is unbelievable that someone could think about it so i would recommend is like 15 minute video video okay that's interesting let's talk, let's talk about it the next podcast man, i will send this to you next this video because cool. it's like what you know and Addiction. we could talk about it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so cool no, but I uh, just wanted to bring up that... Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah. Revolutionary. That's going to be one of the biggest things that ever happened in the history of the world. Yeah. If it succeeds. So far, the patient is doing really well and recovering very, very well from the, the surgery. Able to use it? I don't know. That's what the article didn't doesn't say, is that all they say is they're recovering from the surgical procedure as expected as you know as normal as expected not rejecting not yeah, rejecting hasn't yeah it. hasn't rejected uh, it it's it's on on its infancy on human yeah, funds yeah. yeah if it succeeds i mean that's crazy though that could be like a 10 years from now it could be like regular medicine with people that are like quadriplegic or like certain type of injuries that it's like it's just normal well and that's how about preventing how about the prevention is going to be as but so, amazing but so elon already said he doesn't want any of that preventing he really wants to focus on people that have been taken away. There, like people so that it have might evolve people. into that, though. Yeah. It would. It, it might take a little while. It well, and that's we're talking about Elon's research. After a certain amount of time, I don't know if it's trademark, race, or whatever, people figure out whatever they copy. It'll be copied, right? Like the reverse engineering and the yeah. whole process. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the thing is, at least, at least he has an ethical line to it of like, no, we're only going to help these certain amount of people. We're not going to do 
super soldiers. We're not advancing. That we you know. know. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, that we know. But, but I mean, all intents and purposes from what he says and what we've been no, experiencing. Why fan. do you think he moved to Texas? I, I think all did thinking you see about. Super soldiers, man. But did you see that he's this close? He's thinking he's about... He's making a connection there. Yeah. Do the two subjects. He's this close to incorporating in Texas, too. He's going to move the incorporation from yeah. California. It's still California for, for Tesla. Yeah. He's, he's thinking about incorporating here. Yeah. King, uh, King Musk? We'll see what well, happens. But that I don't would, know. That would be... I could like. see people voting for him for president, but I don't think no. he'd have any interest in doing Why? No. He's got much Why? more power. Much more power. Much more money. Way. Much more power. Yeah, you know, well, the thing is, uh, one of the things that you could be using that for is to to get a, a body um, in a way to um, sustain life in a different planet. Yeah. Uh, been uh, I, yeah. About. yeah, and I think that's ultimately his his well, he number one goal his, that he's always talked about for the past twenty years planetary. is mm -hmm. going to Mars. So he, if, he, if he wants to populate Mars, right? And then, you know, Mars that could be one way of... Okay. Just a hub before our next galaxy, too. Like, yeah. I think he's just really... Interstellar travel is on his brain. Of We're going to use the finite resources we have on Earth to get us somewhere else. That's Which is awesome. I think that's the way he thinks about it. But it is, that's crazy. Timestamp this. Mark it down prediction-wise. Make a short. Do this. Guarantee you the next... next company venture that either Elon or someone else does building rockets to gather materials from asteroids. It's already been talked about. You watched For All Mankind? Yes. Huh? Yeah, well, you watched For All Mankind? Yeah, I did. It was in there, right? Yeah. Have you watched the, the latest season? Yes. The, in the, the, the last two seasons they mentioned, they mentioned that. And the most recent season, yes. it's like how the season opens. They yes. literally are... They're already thinking about it. They're right? flying up. It's in TV show. They're flying up yes. to these asteroids, like mm -hmm. attaching stuff to them, and they're towing it yeah. back to Mars. Yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. Because oh, that's they are that Apple stealing. TV. They're, it's oh, Apple it's an TV. amazing show. It's yeah. Sunny. It's, uh, it's it is Apple, Apple TV. TV. Yeah. It is Apple TV. But okay. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. I've, I've heard it's of an that. Amazing show. show. And I if you don't show. have Apple TV, I can download it for you and put it on a flash drive. Okay. And I if think you want to watch it. Yeah, the yeah. conflicts are interesting too. It's not only about. I mean, the no, scenario. It's, the, it's, the, um, the I know, conflicts are nice. And, I've, and now that you mention it, I know the show. My my buddy told me to watch. it. It's a little bit too woke for me. It's a little bit too woke for me. Uh huh. The show. And I'm probably not. Huh? From Mankind? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not that old. No, no, no. Woke. Oh, a little too woke. I like to say a little too old. No. Oh, woke. Uh, it uh, is woke. It it's is a woke. little bit woke to me. I like yeah. it, though. I don't find it. No. Yeah, uh, if you, like, over overwatch it. it. It's, um, it's like fake history. It's like in the... Yeah. It's in the past, but... but it's based on the what ifs. Now yes. they're catching up. They're yes. catching up to the it's present. It's like but based I'm, off real history, yeah. but a minor change if... If there are we leaps. weren't the first to the moon, but Russia was, yeah. and then we never stopped investing in our space program, exactly. so then we went to the moon, and then we built a, a lunar base by like the 80s, yeah. and, and, the and then there's a space it. hotel by the 90s, then by 2000 we're in Mars, and yeah. then like modern, it hasn't even reached 2020 in that show not yet, yet. Not yet. And they're like towing asteroids to Mars. It's like yes. it's the what ifs of right. like if history was different. And it is so cool. It's based and, out of Houston at NASA. And, and I really exactly. and I really think and I really do think that's going to be the next big thing. Oh, that'd be. I really think that what's going to be end up happening is you were talking about exploring all of the finite resource or the all of the resources here on yeah. the planet. I think there's going to come to a point where. Elon or someone says, you know, we can make batteries. I mean, this this technology is already out there based off of water and, and other things, but quantum glass batteries. Yeah, yeah. or uh, or a water engine that'll go two hundred miles on like a cup of water. Like that technology has already been patented and stored away and, the, and we killed. I've seen stuff. We don't even see the quantum computer working yet. You can harness energy from anything and pull yeah. it in. This I mean, is what they do. I'll, I'll yes. some this really Dieterman. weird podcast from I love it man let's just start it's the Sean Ryan uh, watch it this uh, seriously oh, it's only 15 I'm minutes dead serious. and I, I know in Civilization 4 now they are breaking they they, they, they mentioned they break lots of uh, laws of physics yeah in order to do that like lots of laws of, laws of physics must be broken to be Civilization 4 interesting 4 There's, there are 8 aliens so, yeah. aliens are probably in Civilization 3 or 4 right now 
Yeah, they, they mentioned like, oh, oh, there's one thing. Oh, I don't want to spoil. But, but, don't don't spoil it. I want to watch I don't, it. I don't want to spoil. But there. Oh, are, oh yeah, dude, I love the Sean Ryan show. They mentioned this. That, that you just must. He said. has guys on here that are like ex CIA, ex FBI, like clearances and all kinds of stuff. Like they've seen <laughs> like the, the UFO projects and stuff that they've seen, but they're claiming that there's like technology out there right now that. It, you can just pull energy out of thin air. Like the way Nikola Tesla found something out forever. Whatever is true or not, I don't know. But it's a very interesting sci-fi topic. I'm a very huge sci-fi fan. Oh. I'm like, oh man, that's so cool. You could have a toaster. You don't even plug it in. It just pulls energy from air. Like with, I don't know. You this have has to like an adapter. Like some type of energy adapter that's plugged into the computer. It probably has a tiny little power plant on yeah. it. Yeah. So according to like yeah. physics and stuff, like there's so much energy around that's like untapped into that like the mathematics.